Consumables will play a major factor in Cyberpunk 2077 and knowing what they are and what they do is going to be extremely important so let's go ahead and talk about them. Esava, this is Laserbold, and today we're going to be taking a look at the consumable items found in Cyberpunk 2077. Now, consumable items are really quite important in Cyberpunk 2077 because they're going to award you a couple of benefits. They're also going to be very beneficial to you guys when it comes to restoring your health. And there's kind of two types of consumables that we know so far. There is the standard consumable item and there are combat drugs. Now we're going to start off with the consumable item because for the consumable item, we know of one in particular. There's going to be numerous consumables that are sold to the public like drinks, alcohol, and food. When consumed, these items will provide you with a buff or an effect that you'll be able to experience yourself. Like I said, we're going to start off with the consumable item and this is one that I'm pretty sure you guys have seen in the walkthrough and that is the Nicola can. The Nicola can is a common drink that restores a small amount of health over time. As of right now, the price for this drink, we aren't aware of how much it's going to cost. But we do know that this drink can be purchased from a vending machine. So right off the bat, if in case we're ever injured or we ever need to restore our health, we know that we need to know the location of the vending machines so we could go ahead and restore our health. And this is right now is the only consumable item we know as of right now. But we do know about the drugs, and we're going to talk about those right now. Now, the drugs we're referring to are combat drugs, and these are also part of consumable items you're able to get in Cyberpunk 2077. The industry is increasingly and booming in the year 2077. Militaries and corporations, of course, are the obvious spenders when it comes to consuming drugs, but they are highly illegal drugs. You're going to be able to find these in the streets of night city you won't be able to go to any store any place to actually buy them you kind of have to buy them clandestinely and you're going to be able to use this as your character but these drugs are also able to be used by gangsters which are your enemies and these drugs will give you a benefit when you consume them to gain a little bit of an edge when you're in a combat situation so let's talk about how many of them are available and what they do. As of right now, guys, we know of seven drugs that are currently available in the game. And we're going to start off with the first one called Prime. What Prime will do, it's going to make you a little bit more focused. And it's going to make you a little bit more calm and collective. So you're going to have a more suitable time to actually focus on your target. And it's going to increase the battlefield awareness and reduce incidents of panic. So you're going to be more alert, more focused as you guys go and engage an enemy or you're trying to infiltrate a location. The next one is called Time Warp. And what this is going to do, it's going to sharpen your reflexes, but it's going to come at a cost of real damage as muscles are overextended in the process of consuming this drug. So you'll be getting a benefit from this drug, but you will also be getting a debuff when it comes to that because your muscles are going to be overextended, making you guys a little bit more bulkier and losing a little bit of stamina. The next one is called Berserker, and this one is used by commanders who want to turn soldiers into suicidal killing machines basically the name says it all guys this is going to make you a tank guys you're going to become super powerful very muscular and the thing about this one is that you're also going to be running into other enemies that consume this drug quite a lot so you got to be ready when uh, you guys engage these type of enemies because they are going to be harder to kill the next one is called stem and what this is going to do it's going to increase your responsiveness and it's also going to reduce pain so it's pretty much a painkiller and it's going to make you a little bit more responsive when it comes to, uh, you know, being a little bit more focused and agile in the battlefield. The next one is called Search. And this is a intense stimulant, which reduces the need of food and sleep. So in Cyberpunk, you're actually going to need to consume food. You're going to need to consume, you're going to have to take a nap, uh, you know, to get your energy back. What you're going to be able to do with this one is you'll be able to consume the Search drug. And that's going to reduce the amount of appetite that you have and not make you want to fall asleep. The next one is called Trauma 1. And this is actually kind of like your your, your go-to medicine when you're about to die what this does it's the last ditch method of slowing down the slide down of the death state scale i'll have a specific video going over the death state scale if you guys want to know a little bit more about that we'll definitely be putting out that content very soon but this is going to allow you to actually slow this down 
and you're gonna have quite an advantage. The last one we know about is called the Reflex Booster, and what this is gonna allow you to do, it's gonna allow you to use the Koliskinov ability. I think I said that correctly. Basically what that ability does, it lets you become the Matrix or Neo. It pretty much slows down the time, and you're gonna be able to either get a good shot off with your hand cannon, or you're gonna be able to dodge bullets when you guys consume this booster. This is pretty much one that's going to be used quite a lot in the game. So knowing the price for this one and the location is going to be key. Remember guys, I will have you guys up to date to where you're going to be able to pick up all these drugs and where to buy them from. And I will have those videos up as soon as the game gets released. So make sure you guys want to stay up to date to everything Cyberpunk 2077. You keep it all on this channel. Also, if you guys want to know a little bit more about Cyberpunk, highly recommend you guys check out my videos that are up regarding Cyberpunk 2077 like the everything you need to know and also the one going over the classes so you guys can know what class you're going to be picking and what your V is going to be like. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.